Hello everyone, today from this object video and I'm going to show you two hats that I knitted in 2018. I've never showed you those because I wanted to keep it to design something and I actually, based on it, did. On the screen you can see my Strong Infusion hat that I lately published. I'm going to put link down, links down below to Reverly, Etsy and Lovecrafts where you can purchase that pattern. I made a few changes in the pattern comparing to those two. I'll show you why I know I knitted them in 2018 because I put it this tag with a year on it. If you're interested to grab some tags like this for 2020 check my link below to my shop. Now what's the difference between these two hats and the original pattern? Original pattern is written down for DK weight size and these are fingering weight hats. Um, However, if you purchase a pattern, the pattern repeat for strong infusion hat has 10 stitches repeat. So basically you can just add extra repeat or just take it and have smaller or bigger sizes. There are, there is a slight change, actually two things, because in the original pattern I have some slip stitch going on over there. Over here I don't. And second of all, I have a bit of a different placing in those two hats over here with the twist stitches. So you either you twist on left or you twist to right. And um, yeah, so, so. Check it out on the screen, the green one. Check it out on the screen, the mini one. Because I use two minis. For these, so obviously, <laughs> the DK hat has a bigger folded brim, but the pattern says you can pick any brim you want to. You can uh, go with the flow. And over here, I did a small folded brim just in that size, and I continue with the pattern per se, uh, as long as I wanted to make it a little bit slouchy or fit it. You know, these were, these are a little bit in between, I would say. And for these, I use 3mm needles, which is US size 2.5, I think, on the screen, just to double check. And now, the yarn. The first one that I knitted was this green one. I got a yarn from Knit Crate in 2018, so obviously you will not be able to get it. And I still have some left over, so I, actually I can now take it and use it for a different project. Here it is. This is information about the yarn. It is Crystal Sheep, hand-dyed yarn from, I don't know how to say it. Check it out. I don't want to mispronounce anything. And it is fingering 75% support merino, 25% nylon. We have 450 yards ambush on the screen. Check it out. Now I see that it was included in knit grade boxes. They were taking yarns and putting in the boxes from other hand-dyed yarn businesses because there is another, the second, card and I have a discount code over here so yeah. one more time I love fingering weight hats because they're so tiny and nice to put them into bag if I'm going for a one day hiking trip I normally take three hats the one to wear the one to walk and the third one just maybe afterwards my thingy and to knit one, as you can see, from 100 gram, you probably would use 50 grams, maybe 60 grams. Depends how big you would want to have it. It kind of looks that this one is very generous because I think normally it takes me 60 to 70 grams. Yeah. However, the second hat was knitted with the minis. And I got one mini when I, I think, won or purchased or did it. Uh, Kay was doing a de-stash from Bear Cure Bears and she included one of her hand-dyed yarn minis inside that uh, parcel. And I wanted to knit a hat and I needed a second one and I 
called out on Instagram and um, I don't remember who, but someone sent me a second one and I was able to edit. I don't know which one I used, which one was edit, but maybe actually I may have even three, maybe I got two and the third one was edit. That's kind of when it looks, doesn't it? Kind of brownish, middle and pinkish. And I think that's all is done with the Baker Bears yarn. And hopefully you can see, and hopefully you can see it. There is a bit of sparkle going on over here. So Stellina, silver Stellina is in it, in all of them. <sighs> yeah, so this is something, so this is a blast from the past and I'm happy that I showed it to you, that I kind of went through this, what I've designed quite a while ago and, and published that strong infusion hat so I could so I could show it to you and I can wear it now. Thank you so much for sticking out with me. I hope you enjoy my knitting and crocheting inspirations uh, videos. On the screen maybe two will find you might find interesting. Um, keep on watching and until the next one. Bye!